Hello everyone and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me. And let's play some more Hearts of Iron 4 as Communist Turkey. Okay, so we've invaded Iraq. We're going to be finishing up this war. And then maybe we'll go to war with the democracies. I'm actually not sure. Um, it's a possibility. It's a possibility. The, the democracies are actually having some trouble over here. Although Germany is actually not doing that great either. Um, we could potentially form a faction with Yugoslavia and Iran. So we can all be buddies. Um, I was actually thinking about invading Iran myself, but it may not be as useful as I thought it would be. It might be more useful to just have them as an ally. There is a common turn to the north. I can't join their faction right now because of, um, I'm at war. But once, once you know, we're done with that, I can, I can join it. So we just conquered Iraq. Let's take it all. I don't want to puppet them. Let's actually reset. What happens if I do puppet them? Hmm. I don't find that there's much use to puppeting people right now. So let's just take all states. Five, aggressive expansion. Or, I uh, mean, world tension. That's fine. It's already at 100%. doesn't matter. Okay. So we conquered all that. The allies may very much dislike me. So we do need to be kind of cautious. Let's get a front line with France. Let's get a front line with France. We probably will go to war with the United Kingdom soon. Um, Yugoslavia... I can join the common turn right now, but is that something that I want to do? I don't know. A Yugoslavian, Iranian, Turkish bloc would be really cool. Huh. Iran actually won't join anymore. Yeah. They used to be able to. Not anymore. Let's go ahead and improve relations with the Soviets. Motorization effort. Very cool. Let's go for equipment effort too. So we have 47 divisions. We have armored divisions as well. We do want to get some armor at some point or another. Now we have a pretty good surplus on most resources except for steel and tungsten. We actually have a lot of chromium, a lot of aluminum, and a lot of oil. So that's awesome. We get one construction or civilian factory from trade. So that's nice. Improved artillery upgrade. Let's go for... Anything else? Let's see here. 1940. It's only March 1940, actually. So, really, let's go for some motorized. Motorized divisions are awesome. We have some problems with attrition here, but that's okay. We'll hopefully clear that up in a little bit. Hmm. Yeah. So, if we if we attack the allies, it's, it's going to be... Yeah, is in the Allies faction with all these guys here. So we would go to war with the entire Allied bloc. If I was to do that, I feel like I would need um, definitely to be allied to someone like the Soviet Union or something like that. So I could maybe call them into the war. Yugoslavia. Although, I mean, forming an alliance with Yugoslavia and Iran as well would not be bad. Uh, Romania dislikes me. The Allies definitely dislike me. Most of these guys appear as well. The USSR is at war with Finland. So that's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. So far, this is the Ottoman Empire. We do need to get Syria for sure, and then and then push into France. So that's something else to do. We only have forty-seven divisions. We have one million men ready for ready for service. So that's nice. Nineteen forty synthetic oil. I really don't need the uh, the oil anymore. Actually, we'll probably be okay. Land doctrine is progressing. Let's see armor. Yeah, we can get some armor. Um, let's get some light tanks for now. Maybe we'll get some medium tanks a little later. Let's see. How's production? We do need more military factories to be able to, um, clear up a lot of this production here. We need more units for, um, reinforcement. But other than that, improved artillery support equipment is fine. Convoys are good. We don't need any more convoys, actually. We can produce some marines. Reliability, 72%. Liability, 80%. Let's send these guys to the fleets. Okay. Let's see, trade is fine. Surplus, surplus, needed. We have a lot of chromium. We even export 268 chromium. Jesus. Yeah, we're completely communist. We're as communist as it gets. Soviet Union, White Peace, Finland. Mountaineers. Marines. Military police, maybe. Maintenance companies, maybe. Motorized rocket artillery. Field hospitals are always nice to have. The trickle back is really cool. Logistics is not bad either. Let's go for some field hospitals. Um, how's our motorized production? We don't really have any. 
I would like to turn some troops into motorized. Armor is nice too. Maybe we'll maybe we'll leave our production for, for armor a little later. We don't really need aircraft. Um, I found that you really don't need a lot of the naval game. Let's go for... What did I just get done with? Forget. Armor, artillery, land doctrine. Industry. We got a while before we need to research more industry. Let's go for, I think, a logistics company. Supply can be an issue if you don't handle it right. Uh, these civilian factories are being built very, very quickly. That's awesome. It's so kick-ass. Can we even build any more? We could if we wanted to. So especially here. Let's go for... Let's see, um, how about one there, maybe like one there. Let's go for, yeah, that'll look good. That'll be good. We have 100 factories now, which is actually kind of a lot. So we're, we're pretty good medium power. I just noticed it's the color of Saudi Arabia and Turkey are almost like exactly the same. That's really weird. I imagine Turkey needs to be like green, like in Europe Universal 4, or red, like it is in uh, Victoria 2. Oh no, actually, I think Turkish, yeah, I think Turkey is always red. Um... In Victoria 2. Yeah, but European results is green, I think. Yeah, so, okay, so the Italians are holding out, which is telling me that the, the Allies are not doing that great over here. Let's improve relations with the Iranians. Common term relations are pretty good. Um, Yugoslavia. Should I create a faction with them? I know they're going to go to war with the Germans eventually. The Serdabung. Hmm. So, we'll see how that goes. Hmm, I don't know. I definitely want to invade Egypt. Depending on how the fascists do, if the fascists have a pretty good run, we can go to war with, um, is Romania? Let's see. The uh, Soviet Union is justifying against Romania. That's right. Conquer Bessarabia. Hungary is also doing so. Okay. Uh, and inv what about an invasion of Romania? They have a lot of oil, some steel. It'd be really cool to take some of that oil, to be honest. How long would a Justifier War goal take? Again, say, like, Mutania? Let's go, like, these three. Like, what if I wanted this? Historically, actually, we owned almost all of that. 175 days. You know what? Let's do it. Let's let's fabricate on Romania. Let's see what happens. I know that they're they're pretty fascist, so they might get invited to the fascist um, party, but we'll see what happens. I don't know. And then France, we could justify something against France as well, although they actually really dislike me. Uh, Yugoslavia is a possibility. Is anybody fabricating against them? No, they're not. Okay. Iran. We can create a faction with Iran if we wanted to. Yeah, I don't know. Um. Let's see, the common turn. I don't think the common turn will ever go to war with me, but I mean, you never know. <laughs> you know, you never know. Hungary declared war in Romania. Okay, we'll see how Romania does. Romania should be at war with just Hungary. I don't think they called anybody in. I don't even know if Hungary is part of the Axis. They're not. Hungary is not part of the Axis yet. Very interesting. And then nobody's fabricating on Yugoslavia. At least from what I can see, the Germans are really actually not having that good of luck over here against the French and the, and the Belgians. Improved infantry equipment. Okay, let's go for... It's only May right now, huh? Military, police, armor. Let's go for maybe anti-air. Yeah, because we might need anti-air at some point or another. The Romanians actually should do fairly well against these guys. Integrated support. That's our land doctrine. Let's go for... Let's go for that regimental combat teams. Looks good. Hopefully the Romanians do well. How many divisions here? 43 to 89 for the Hungarians. And then these guys here, 27 to 72. Damn, okay. Limited conscription. Equipment effort. Let's go for mechanization effort. That's fine. No divisions in basic training. Don't have any equipment for them anyway. Denmark joined the Allies. German Reich declared war in Denmark. So Germany's going all out. Norway, okay, Norway. 
Yeah, Romania's pissed. We're fabricating on them. Yep. Yes, we are. Hungarians seem to be doing okay. And the Romanians are actually even keeping troops on my borders. Wow. You guys are brave. Yeah, an invasion of Romania would be really cool. Mm-hmm. It really would be kind of cool. Hungary. Yeah, Hungary is not in this faction, man. That's crazy. And they only want Northern Transylvania. They want that. They want this right here. Bomber focus. Yeah. An invasion of Romania would be really interesting. Oh my god. Legionary Romania just joined the Axis. Whoopsies. Cancel that justification. We don't want to go to war with them. Hungary. That means Hungary is going to be completely out of this. Yeah. German Reich has a very bad opinion of Hungary now. Legionary Romania. We don't want to attack the Axis now. How's Yugoslavia? They're still pretty reluctance not aligned. Neither they are nor we are at war. So joining with Yugoslavia and Iran would be our own faction. It means I wouldn't be able to join any faction with the common turn. You know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and do it. How about um Turkish Communist Bloc? The dawn of the Turkish Communist Bloc. And let's invite Iran. Anybody else around here? Afghanistan, that'd be kind of cool. So we're in a faction now. Yeah, so we have the Turkish Communist Bloc, which is this huge guy right here. We could attack the Allies if I wanted to. Um, Probably not a good idea, though. The common turns up there. We have really good relations, which is awesome. Uh, they don't need military access. Uh, military access. Okay. It's cool. We have our own. We have our own block. Um, we could attack the Axis. That's something to do for sure. That'd be something to do. Attack Romania. Attack the Germans. Damn, that would be kind of fun, you know. Romania. Uh, Hungary is a, a target. Hungary joined the Allies. Actually, very interesting. They were mostly fascist, and now they join the Allies. Fascinating. The Germans are actually really not having that good of luck. Maybe attacking the uh, maybe attacking the Axis is going to be something we have to do. Taking all of Romania would be kick ass. Befriend Japan. Hmm. Maybe we'll leave the Allies alone for a little while. Holy shit! Iran actually has a lot of power over here. How many divisions do they have? They have thirty-five divisions. Wow, I'm actually really impressed. Afghanistan. We have forty-seven for now. Okay, so how's my military production? We have military factories looking good. Constructions are good too. We're building up a lot of military factories, which is awesome. And then we'll get some more civilian and such a little later. Let's go ahead and put these at the bottom of the list. Actually, actually we should send some of this to the top. We should send the repairs to the top. And then we have a lot of military factories that are going to be on the way. Civilian factories at the bottom. And damn, should we go to war with the Axis? That's a really good question. So it looks like Yugoslavia has 35 divisions as well. And they're actually, yeah, anti-German military. <laughs> that's funny. Um, yeah, that's that's interesting, huh? Hmm. The United Kingdom is actually invading Albania. So the fascists really aren't doing that well over here. Is that what you're telling me? And it looks like Romania is going to be... It looks kind of like they're winning out over here. How's my research? Pretty good so far. Light tanks. We would like to get some medium tanks at some point or another. We have the oil and such for them. Um, how many divisions does Romania have? 48 to 63. So they're pretty powerful. But not somebody you want to mess with. Hmm. Let's get some more... Do I want motorized? Maybe. We're not producing any motorized right now, so we can hold off on it. For now, let's just get some more inventory. Let's do Ankara. Let's deploy them to the French, um, to the Middle Eastern border, essentially. So what we can do is we could go to war against the Axis. Looks like, uh, oh yeah, these guys just got swallowed up by the German Reich. Okay. How does Germany feel about me? Not that great. Hmm. Common term, we're still pretty friendly. Everything's good over here. I'm actually considering... 
We don't really need this anymore. I'm thinking ideological crusader, same ideology opinion. That might really come in handy to keep the common turn off my back. That's something that I should look into. We will need eventually uh, armor divisions for sure. We'll need to produce some, some armor. We're about to finish up on support equipment up here, inventory equipment too. We're about to get full production lines, which I do want. We will need armored vehicles. Well, we do have such a huge surplus. Weapons too, we have surplus 3.98 thousand. Interesting, yeah. The fall of Hong Kong, okay. Very interesting. Let's see here. Anti-fascist diplomacy, that's really nice. That's really good. Turkish Socialist Republic. Mechanization effort is done. Let's go for Doctrine Effort 2. Belgium has capitulated. Okay, the Germans are beating the, the Allies now in, in the continent. Um, yeah, I was considering attacking and maybe drawing off some of the German strength, but probably it's not going to happen now at this point. Let's go ahead and actually deploy the army to the border with Romania. Uh, let's try and keep at least some friendly relations with the Germans. Or with the um, Allies. Let's do an offensive line here into the Carpathian Mountains. And then we'll do like a second line into here. Because I imagine that at some point or another, the Germans will probably come after me. Probably. Probably. So we should move the army there for sure. Let's give these troops to this plan. Armor divisions, we do need them. Uh, oh, you know, Chauncey got assassinated. That sucks, man. Uncertain times. Let's mobilize our airplanes. Let's go ahead and just get rid of all the air wings. F1. Let's go and get some troops in Burgas. Close air support. Okay. Let's leave that there. Standing by. Let's go ahead and assign all our troops to the... Yeah, I guess to the Southern Balkans for now. Let's do naval strikes. And these air wings probably should be a little bigger. Let's do 100 here. 100, and let's do 100 here. We will get some aircraft production hopefully soon. Not right now, but soon. Regimental combat teams. Let's keep progressing with the Doctrine. I'm going to need it. 949, or 950,000 men. Political power is pretty good. Ship designer, tank designer. We will be designing uh, armor now, so let's let's get some uh, some political power going in that direction. Uh, the Germans are winning. France is getting kind of beat up. They have a lot of power, though. They do, but the Germans have a lot more. Forty-four military factories about to be capped out on these production lines. There we go. We just got capped out. Constructions. We do have some more on the way. We do need this to be done. So what I'm thinking about doing is maybe light tanks for now. And then we'll go to um, medium tanks, maybe somewhere down the line, or just stick with light tanks because, you know, inventory support's not bad. Medium tanks are, are interesting. So far, this invasion here would be pretty awesome. Can't tell Yugoslavia to do anything, so that's a shame. Let's go ahead and hold these guys in reserve for just a second. Okay, we got light tanks one, so let's produce some light tanks. Let's go up here. Let's give him a full production line. Let's actually, you know, let's cut back on some of this. Um, let's cut back on some of that production. Let's get the, let's get those light tanks being built so we can get some light tank formations. Let's go for light tank two. Missing equipment production. We do we are we are missing yeah close air support and fighters. So maybe we could let's get that full production line and let's um, we'll probably start researching some air, hopefully soon. Let's get that anti-aircraft upgrade. We got a lot of military factors on the way. Our civilian factors are doing a really good job, actually. So that's really nice to know. Field hospitals are done. Let's go for... Signal companies are nice as well. Maintenance companies are really good. We'll need maintenance companies. Let's go here to our inventory divisions. Field hospitals are going to be nice. We'll need that trickle back. I think, yeah. Let's go for our armored divisions. 
Oh, this will not do. We need these guys to be armored battalions. Let's do light tanks all across the board. Light tanks, light tanks. Support anti-air, engineer field hospitals, recon companies. Recon would not be bad. Engineers would be nice too, actually. Defense, breakthrough. Let's go for an engineer company. Defense, breakthrough, armor. Let's go for that. These guys are going to be elite troops. Infantry are fine. Okay, so we need motorized. We need to produce motorized sometime soon. Logistics companies just got done. Let's go for... Um, we should maybe focus on some... Anti-tank. Support anti-tank heart attack. Oh yeah, we can have support anti-tank. That's a really good idea. Land doctrine. Air doctrine. Let's go for uh, maybe some close air support and fighters. Just like down this tree here. Let's actually get some fighters one. Doctrine effort. Okay. Let's go for maybe an armor effort. That'd be nice. So, producing a lot of military factories now. We're producing a lot of stuff. We do have a problem with steel. 26 more units. Oh, shit. So, we do need some steel. Is that what you're telling me? All right. Well, let's move this up then. Um, Since since we are capped out on, on some of these here, I think we'll be okay. Let's get the, um, let's get the artillery being produced for sure. Or the, let's get the armor armor being produced for sure. Yeah. Motorized. We do need motorized. That's right. We do need motorized. No um, inventory equipment motorized. There we go. Let's go for motorized here. We'll give them uh, basically yeah a lot of a lot of factories. Um, so as as this production line for the light tanks gets finished up, we can move on to motorized. That'll be excellent. Improved anti-air. Okay. It's going to be 1941 pretty soon. We should focus on some of this industrial tech. Let's go for it. Let's let's finish up with the industrial tech and we'll get some air tech for sure. Um, training's going well for a lot of these troops. Things look okay. Uh, construction's going fine. We do have a lot of military factories on the way. Production's good. Uh, we have 50 military factories. Uh, we need motorized at some point or another. We'll do okay for now. Let's see here. So yeah, this is our block right here, you know? Um, Turkish, Turkish communist block, yeah. Pretty nice. That's Portugal. Is there anybody that's like amazingly friendly to me? Not really. Not really. Okay. Let's keep progressing with the. Um, let's keep progressing with this here. We have 116 factories. That's pretty kick ass. We just got another one, actually. Wow. 59 civilian, 51 military. Kick ass. And so far, most of our frontier is pretty secure. Um, we do need that motorized, though. Yeah, these troops won't deploy until they have motorized. So, that production efficiency will grow. It'll grow. Alrighty, um, so now it's December 1940, so we'll be getting into some more uh, legit combat now. I'm going to go ahead and take a break here, guys, and we will see how this all plays out. Maybe I can conquer Romania, you know? Alright, guys, we'll see, uh, we'll see you soon in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching.